can't remember. Did, did you tell me that you called Jack and Betty Jean that you were going to? Yes, I called them there. Oh, of course you told me. What about Bud? Well, Betty Jean and Jack, some very nice neighbors. They're going to take real good care of Bud. Jack and Betty Jean make friends so fast. Yes, I know, dear. Jack is... <laughs> Betty, you mustn't. Please. <laughs> Sarah and Jack were so close. So close. He... Even as children, they, they always played together. Of course, they fought like kids do, but if any other child in the neighborhood threatened either one of them, they stood shoulder to shoulder. Of course they did. Of course. But I... I will not give up hope, Mattie, and you mustn't either. Oh, I know. I'm trying, Winston. I'm, I'm trying to be brave. Everything looks, looks so black. No, no, no. Come, come, come. Hello, Willie. my sweetheart, huh? I, uh, I just finished up my business. Got back as quick as I could. What's new? Sarah has regained consciousness. Mike is in there with her now. Thank God. The doctor felt that he had better see her. And there isn't any, uh... There isn't any improvement, Willie, no. Oh, you see, Mother, I've talked to the doctor. You know what he, you know what he said to me, honey? He said that uh, it's going to be real, real rough there first, you know, and then smooth out, you know, as time went on, honey. You're, you're very sweet. I, I know you're trying to cheer me up. But I know Sarah has not much chance. And this is something I have to face. Only I, I, I'm finding out that there are some things you, you just can't. Not alone, but with God's help. Winston, I, I think I'd like to go to the hospital, child. Of course. Well, if the doctor or Mike want either one of us, you know where we'll be. Oh, dear. We'll continue with our story in just a moment. Maybe 
the strength. Gloria. It's all right. You saved her life. Can I see her? Well, darling, uh, Dr. Jacobs gave her a little sedative, you know. She's fast asleep now. No matter. I remember what she looks like. Mother? She's here. She's in the waiting room. Can I see her? Yes. Just as soon as I leave, you see, Dr. Jacobs didn't want you to see both of us at once, you know. Mike. I know I don't have to tell you this. What? Mike. I'm here, darling, I'm here. What about Laura Ann, my darling? She's so much. You've always said she's so much like me. She is. She's a very lucky little girl. <coughs> well, I mean, you know, suppose she'd been like me. She would have been a little boy if she'd been like you. Yeah. I've often won wondered. What have you wondered? I've wondered. Like most wives do. When she was a little girl. If you weren't disappointed. Oh, darling. You remember I told you. And that was God's truth. I was happy. I am. How could I be otherwise? Now, no. the important thing is for you to get well and come home so we can all be together again. Mike, if we're not together again... Don't say all... that, Sarah. There's always if.
I'll never be very far away. As long as she's here. Take care of her, Mike. Remember. Please, please, remember. for Bonnie any Laurie. I blame you, don't. Have <laughs> tea. We'll continue with our story in just a moment. of the Edge of Night has been brought to you by Ivory Soap. We'll continue with our story immediately following station identification. The second portion of The Edge of Night is brought to you by Pet Evaporated Milk, Pet Instant Non-Fat Dry Milk, and Pet Ritz Frozen Pies. She will, she, she will live, won't she? I wish I could answer that, Mr. Bryant, but I can't. It. I explain Only it. time can answer. What do you mean? You know the situation. Laurie Ann's condition is grave, very grave. Paranucleosis is not only a serious and a dangerous disease, but the operation to effect a cure is an extremely delicate one. You do it. You do it, Doc. You can do it. All of them are shaved. Bring him back from Frisco. What happened? What's the reason he's not back? He went to the coast to perform the same operations. Normally speaking, this wouldn't matter. But the post-operative care, especially in paranucleosis, is absolutely vital. Now, there's no chance whatever that he can leave his patient and come back here for several days. Well, it's only we're going to stay here and let the baby die. If the accident hadn't happened, if there wasn't a nervous shock to her system, if the danger of McShay not getting here for a few days, it would be great, of course, but not desperate as yeah, it well, is. How desperate? How desperate? Again, it's my opinion. She should be operated within 24 hours. 12 hours would be better, but that's impossible. What do you mean impossible? Mr. Bryan, there just isn't any solution. Listen to me. There's got to be a solution, Doctor. Let's get a solution. You just don't seem to understand. McShay is the only one who can perform such a delicate operation. The surgical cure for this was discovered only two years ago by a Dr. Southern. Up till then, there was no cure. The patient was doomed. Oh, doomed, doomed, doomed. I don't understand you, fellas. Two years ago, you figured out a way to cure this thing. You have an operation to do it. Why are there so few surgeons that can do a thing like this? Why? Because it's such a serious and delicate operation that takes a year of dedication and devoted study. Besides that, not every surgeon is qualified. As of now, there's only one completely qualified surgeon, McShay, who's available. 
What about this Southern? He perfected the operation. Let's get him. He's not available. Why not? Because he's retired and completely well, out we'll of We'll get him out of retirement. We'll get him out. That's impossible. Why? He is not the man he used to be. I doubt that in his condition he could perform a, par a paranucleotomy. You're not answering my question, Doctor. I'm asking you why we can't get him out of retirement. Look, Southard's young doctor, Southard's young daughter, that is, was stricken with paranucleosis. Now, normally a surgeon can't operate on anybody in his own family, but he was the only one who could perform this operation. There was no alternative. The little girl died. Where does he live, doctor? In a cabin up in the mountains somewhere. Whereabouts in the mountains, doctor? Well, Mr. Bryan, don't get any ideas. There isn't a man alive who could persuade Southern to perform another paranucleotomy. If he can cure this baby, Mike and I will persuade him. Don't you worry about that. Nobody Dr. could. Dr. Jacobs, wanted in 128. Urgent. Dr. Jacobs, wanted in 128. Urgent. Excuse me now. Our story continues after this message. story continues after this message.
Tune in again tomorrow for The Edge of Night, created by Irving Bendy. Today, The Edge of Night has been brought to you by Pet Milk Company's family of fine food products. Join us each weekday afternoon for The Edge of Night. This is Harry Kramer speaking.